Hi folks, Rory at Cloud and Painting Studio with a new video. Um, today we're going to quickly paint some uh, Warlord Games 28mm Prussian Landwehr. Um, these Landwehr were militia drawn from um, those who were young, old, infirm, and although they <clears throat> were perhaps there to make up the numbers, by the time of Waterloo they were a significant part of um, the Allied Army. Nothing special about painting these guys today. We're going for quick um, to get them on the table. Um, they will be Silesian, uh, which means we're going to use a bit of yellow um, decoration um, on cuffs and caps. Um, I've based them with a bit of um, Vallejo earth texture. And I've done that first because it's a, a messy stage and if we do a bit of overspill with the paint, it's no big deal. Um, and at the same time, it just means it's... I did this overnight and then they're ready for straight onto the battlefield after we finish painting. The models have been primed um, with Halford's Automotive uh, Navy Blue, which is a, a new one for me to experiment with. Um, you could paint with something like Vallejo um, Dark Prussian Blue. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to dry brush some Vallejo Prussian Blue, just over the, the great coats pick out some of the, the raised areas. Got a makeup brush here, nice and soft, so we're really only catching the areas that we, we want to. The skin is to be painted next. It's a dark blue or a, a black, for example, that these primer colours are difficult to cover over with some paints. Um, so I've gone for a pigment heavy um, Vallejo Extra Opaque Heavy Skin Tone um, and it just means that you can get through this with um, speed one layer it's usually all that's required with this line of paints These uh, Landwehr sculpts are a bit more skin on show than most Napoleonic uh, figures around about the legs I have to look out for uh, short Shortened trousers and uh, bare toes. Um, I've got some Vallejo Extra Opaque Heavy Sienna. I use that for wooden areas such as the musket. It doesn't really matter if we get it where the metal is going to go afterwards. Might use this for some of the hair. Um, some models, uh, interestingly, this file at the end is carrying an axe. So let's put in the axe handle there. I'm going to pick out a couple of bed rolls with some Vallejo Extra Opaque Heavy Blue Grey. Some Vallejo Game Colour Ghost Grey. I'm going to use this off white colour to pick out um, my cross straps. I've got a bandage here. Some of the trousers as well. And on the caps there's a little Prussian cross to pick out as well. One other detail I've picked out with the uh, ghost grey is the shoulder flaps. The colour of these varied uh, by battalion. The Silesian Landwehr had uh, some yellow in their uniform. Um, we look to do the collars of the great coats, the hat band, potentially some piping along the edge of the cap as well, and a line on the cuffs. I think I'm only really going to do this on the models where the cuff is actually marked. Quite often um, someone in the Landwehr had to bring their own coat. So a bit of variety in the uniform is acceptable. Um, the yellow that I'm using is actually Vallejo uh, Extra Opaque Heavy 
Booker. Again, really good coverage from this range of paints. There's a couple of areas we need to paint black, um, or in this case, Vallejo Panzer Aces Dark Rubber, which is a dark grey. I just prefer dark greys over pure black, easier to shade highlight. So that's a cartridge box. And um, we've also got obviously shoes. In this case, we've got boots and gaiters. And the backs of the models, we'll see. We've got some um, sheaths and bayonet sheaths as well. I forgot to mention that the peaks on the caps should be in our black colour as well. Uh, we've got a couple of water bottles, canteens, Vallejo Extra Opaque Heavy Brown here. We'll just use this to do the cord that's going over the shoulder on these models as well. Could do it with the heavy sienna we used earlier as well. With an old battered brush I'm going to use some Army Painter Plate Mail Metal to pick out the metal such as on the bayonets. Or musket barrels and locks, um, buttons and things. And just underneath the Prussian cross as well. I also use some Vallejo model color brass, um, just in a couple of details such as the sword hilt and end of the sheaths there. Uh, optional step now um, is to make these Landwehr look a bit dirty like they've been trudging through the mud. Um, so I've got some of that extra pig heavy brown on a dry brush and just a little bit of stippling over the lower parts of the model, the boots, the, the trousers. And up onto Great coats isn't out there question. Now you can do as little or as much of this as you want. Just to simulate a bit of dirt. We're getting a lot grimier there. Uh, we can add to the sort of dusty effect um, with a, another light dry brush. I've got some um, Vallejo Game Color Elfic Flesh. Big makeup brush here. So aiming for the, the lower half of the, the model where the dust would get kicked up. But this colour is also a good dry brush colour um, to highlight the edges of our blacks and browns and our skin tone as well. I'm going to give these models a wash now, help to find some of the, the creases. Um, I'm going to use Army Painter's Soft Tone mixed one to one with the Quick Shade Wash Mixing Medium. Um, it's going to give a nice effect on the, the skin and the whites on the model. Um, really, it's up to you what shade you could use. You could use a, a black, a dark tone, or null and oil. Um, it'd be very um, effective in adding extra shade to the blue of the great coats. Um, but I feel like the dry brushing I did earlier with the blue at the start and then just now with the off-white has got enough highlighting on the, the great coats. And I want my um, wash to really help define um, the lighter areas on the model. And here's our final result. Um, soft tone has dried. I've added a bit of tuft uh, to the base. And... A nice, simply executed paint scheme um, with a, a nice end result. Could go back in and do the eyes 
um, and other details, add some highlights if you wanted. But if you want to get battalions and battalions of these landware on the table quickly, I think um, this is a, a good way to, to do it. Um, I prefer to get my line units banged out and spend a little bit more time um, on the leaders of the units and the commanders. Um, cavalry and uh, artillery tend to get a bit more time and care lavished on them in my world. I hope the video has been useful. Um, I hope there's some tips that people will be able to, to take away for painting their own land there. Um, as always, if you've got any comments or questions, please pop them below. Um, I have been noticing on my analytics that a lot of people that watch my videos um, aren't subscribed to the channel, in fact over half. Uh, so if you're on the fence about subscribing, please do. Um, I'll help the, the channel grow and get out there. And I'll try and get video up every couple of weeks at least. Thanks, goodbye.